Don't cry, Mommy. Don't cry. The blue tang fish featured in the Finding Dory and Finding Nemo movies has become so popular, scientists are looking for better ways to breed them. Very popular because of, of, of uh, their aesthetics. Um, and the tangs are really an iconic species with their bright blue coloring and that bright yellow tail. Finding Dory alone has grossed more than $900 million worldwide. Now researchers are seeking new ways to keep up with demand for these electric blue fish for aquariums. Up to now, it's not been possible to breed blue tangs in captivity, but researchers at the University of Florida, for the first time, have a solution. The breeding of the blue tangs really started as a project in collaboration with the Rising Tide Conservation Initiative. The University of Florida took on this uh, project to try and see if we could develop commercial production protocols. It comes down to finding a better way to feed them, which will allow blue tangs to be grown on farms in Florida. The blue tangs will only eat zooplankton, the, the natural food that's floating around in the ocean. Um, what those are called copepods. We grow a species of copepod here uh, that we feed to the tangs, but those copepods will only eat live microalgae. So we essentially have to grow live algae, then copepods. So while the movie's focus is on finding Dory, Florida researchers have focused on finding a potential boon to the state's $27 million a year aquaculture industry, breeding the exotic blue tang for home aquariums. Marina Hutchinson, The Associated Press.